Do some other vocal warm ups for you. Oh. La 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 la. <laughs> the arsonist had all the same feet. <laughs> the Human Torch apparently was denied a bank loan. Thank denied you for joining us. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this. This is Bush League, Audrey. Lanolin? <laughs> like, it's like she's full. I'm lost. Thank you, man. Oh. <laughs> Those are his vocal warm ups. Oh. Hi there. Uh, my name's Dakota. I'm the trash admin mm. of this dumpster fire on the river of mediocrity. And we're here today to talk about another local maker, Dragonfly Knifeworks, a currently practicing engineer um, who decided to get into knife making. Probably makes beer, probably makes whiskey, but we enjoy his knives so far, so we'll find out. Join us and we'll go further. We should see if we can get some of his beer or whiskey. Yeah, he was talking about what distilling. Is Um, so these are from Dragonfly Knife Works. The dude's currently a uh, some sort of unspecified naval engineer, and he I didn't does even know he was naval. Yeah, blue suit. Huh. Yeah, he he likes to. Oh, he came uh, in in uniform one time. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Likes to look at it, you know, his yeah. naval. Yeah, he came in to pick up the <coughs> blade that he was getting Rockwell. Oh, okay. Or drop off or something. <clears throat> but yeah, he's he's very. Um, very systematic. Like it, it's it's kind of cool to talk to him because he does everything step by step, like makes notes on everything and works out like what he did wrong and just systematically figures things out, which is kind of nice from a knife maker because most of the guys just kind of like, yo, this is what I got. I, I have no clue how I did this, but here it is. Well, one good thing about like him being an engineer is he didn't just. He didn't pick a knife maker steel necessarily. He went straight to what an engineer would pick. Like he just went straight to Magna Cut, and he's like he's new to the game, and he went straight to Magna Cut, yeah. which is pretty respectable. Or uh, he does have AEBL there. This some, is AEBL. Some S90V as well. And S90V, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, like he um, he he definitely engineered. That looks nice. He engineer picked his steel. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say I love the indexing on these things. Also, the sheet that is like, that is a, a, a really nice handle. I think. Yeah, yeah, they are. They do fit well in the hand. But it's uh, stock removal, not forging, because mm -hmm. he uses modern stainless. Yeah, because he uses modern stainless. Modern stainless, you really can't forge. Um, but kinda... they're nice and thin. Uh, good belly on them. I mean, they're really good. Uh, I mean, they're definitely geared towards hunting. Um, with, uh, I mean, even though we bought it, you know, this doesn't necessarily look like a hunting knife, but you know, we have. What eight or eight or ten of them? Yeah, very And just only brought only brought three different kind of variations to show. He is very uh, upfront about his Rockwell numbers as well, which I think is cool. Yeah, you know, puts uh, puts his Rockwell numbers right on his. Uh, he he makes a little dog tag birth certificate. We're not we're not gonna hate on him for that. He's all, <laughs> it's all right. Um, um, but yeah, he puts the Rockwell, all the specs in there, and then I'm pretty sure he has a Glowforge because he's. Uh, this, these patterns are really fun, but like he's definitely doing this in some sort of laser. Oh yeah, he's not. He's and not and it has to be the same laser he's doing with these guys because you can barely feel it. I really feel like it's a CO2 laser. I don't. Well, unless he's using a catalyst, because unless you're using a catalyst, you're not gonna feel a CO2 laser. It's gonna be a fiber, so he might have two, because you can get a uh, like a 30 watt CO2 for pretty cheap that will do leather. Hmm. Maybe I should. But the, the polish on his, I don't know if you can see the shine on these things, it's like they're almost like, Jesus, is he just lacquering them? But if he's lacquering them, then he can't be, because then you'd, you'd be able to feel it back here unless, oh wait, yeah, he is lacquering. There, there's the end of it right there. So uh, he is lacquering them. He said he had an autoclave, and he was impregnating them with epoxy. So like uh, autoclave evacuation, uh, I'm heat, right? Yeah. yeah, I know, I know uh, for, autoclave is. For the, the neophytes who are listening in. Autoclave, uh, it's um, it's vacuum chamber that's also an oven. Oh. I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. Okay. I mean, you make someone, mercarta in it. Yeah, oh. someone, oh. yeah, someone could give a better description, but it's a, it's an, it's a vacuum chamber, but that's an also an oven. I yeah. understand that. You said he was yeah. putting these in an autoclave and using some sort of epoxy and then also going over with like an overfinish of some sort, but mm -hmm. he didn't tell me what it was. Black. So I wonder, then that, now I wonder <laughs> at, at, at what temperature he's curing it then because. It's coming out um, nice. Yeah, well, and also because like you know uh, you don't want to you don't want to ruin your temper. I mean, you get these things up to four hundred and well, certain steels. I don't know what drawing up the temper on Magna Cut is. 
But uh, like N690, I think you could do, you could ruin the temper on N690 with a Bic lighter. Uh, you could ruin you could fully ruin an N690 knife in a conventional home oven because they they temper they they drop the temper so low. It's like uh, 400 and change. Hmm. I want to say. So you're but. saying if I really hated someone and they use N690, I could fucking ruin <laughs> their day with a blowtorch real quick. <laughs> yeah, or a Bic if you had a whole lot of spare fucking time. Just for the top <laughs> grind. All the way up. So is he using like a? Like kind of needs a top grind. Mm -hmm. Is it like a Bird King he's using, or? I don't know what machinery he's using for it's his grind. It's a rough grit, though. Yeah, I mean he's definitely the most efficient. <clears throat> I mean, probably like a sixty or a one twenty, and then. That's a little. That's a little hand wiped, but yeah, there's some deep scars on there, which makes me think sixty. That almost. That grind almost looks like Four a one eighty right there. Um, it looks like this is the, this probably went the highest. This looks like maybe a 220, or it could possibly be a 320. But if he'd have gone to four, you can go to mirror from a polish. Or you can, you can take up, you can take 400 to mirror with just a buffer. You don't have to go up anymore. It's not fun, but you, but it's possible. Especially on AEBL, it takes a high polish. Magna Cut's a little bit of a bitch to work with. Which makes me think, I wonder if he did this one first because it's a, it's an it's a, a finer grit finish, and then he got fed up with it and just went to a rubber mm -hmm. grit finish. Could be because he realized how hard it was to work with. I am seeing that he's was figuring out maker's side there for a little while. That is one thing inconsistent with that, which because it almost makes you wonder: is he left-handed, and he started out doing it conventionally and then changed his mind because he's left-handed, or did he accidentally do one, do a couple wrong and then mm. change it up, or is he? Is, uh, is, there's got to be some method to his madness yeah. here, because his logo has actually changed just slightly. Uh, so this one's much finer, and the fit and finish on this one's nicer. So I and think this, this is a later one. Texture to it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that one's not. That one's definitely burnt in quite a bit more significantly. Yeah. Yeah. So I. I wonder which came first. Well, this is also the Chicken first batch of knives we've gotten from him, you know, so I'm sure it's going to get ironed out. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. Little yeah, inconsistencies. Yeah. I mean, he's new. He's and new. he had boxes, which was super yeah, cool. Yeah, he had, he had boxes. He has tags. Uh, he's using good steel. His, his fit and finish is great. His handle material choice is good. Uh, I wish he'd get into a little bone. Hopefully that'll come around soon. But, mm -hmm. I mean, for... I mean, for coming right out of the box, he looks like he did a whole lot of research before he started going. Yeah. And making his own sheets. I mean that's and and doing steel clips and I mean he's he definitely he definitely got overbuilt. Yeah, I mean he's kind of like for for being as new to it as he is, uh, you could fool somebody into thinking that he's got quite a few more years in the game by the choices he makes and what and and the amount of work he does. You can tell he is some sort of rapid development engineer because he's used to like dealing with models, cutting stuff yeah. out, getting it taken care of. But there's like little details when you look at it, you're like, "This is your first batch of knives." Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, for sure. Um, the the grinds, uh, low grinds, is a dead giveaway to a newer. You, you know, it's like uh, low grind gets a little higher, gets way higher. But. Cool. Oh, I'm, well. inter I'm interested to see where he goes because he's starting out real strong, especially yeah. with Magna Cut at good rock wells and nice sheaths, good handle materials, and his price point is really reasonable. Um, what uh, I don't remember what we're asking. Three seventy-five, three fifty. Something like that. I want to say he's under four hundred yeah. for natural handles and Magna Cut. It's pretty good. And, and, and pretty handmade. Good. That is, um, I mean, value per dollar. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, especially by Alaskan standards. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I mean, there's a, there's a maker out in the valley who shall remain unnamed who would probably charge 650 for that. For, oh, know, for the same for spec sure. sheet. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? If you put the same <laughs> spec least. sheet on his website, it'd be <clears throat> 650 bucks, but this guy's coming in under four. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. And once he gets established, I'm sure that price will go up. Yeah, yeah. And, and as he refines his technique and they get more intricate, I'm sure that will go up. But, I mean, to get into one of these for under 400 bucks is pretty pretty impressive. It's pretty damn decent. Mm-hmm. It's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. And on that note, back to 10. Back to 10. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, 
Sheriff. All those things really help yeah. the channel. Hey, Feed the algorithm. Yeah, algorithm. Just passing yeah. out down here. Northern Knives. He does this when I drive. He does <laughs> it to my lap. Yeah. And a dog. And a dog. And a dog. It's a moose dog.